For example, the movements of the galaxies, the movements of the planets around the sun, the movements of the electrons around the nucleus, it's exactly the same like the people downstairs in Kaaba making the tawaf. The human being is a human being at the end of the day with its spirit, not with its body and what covers the body. And that's why when we go and do circles and what we call tawaf around the Kaaba itself, which is that holy place, it's supposed to cleanse us from our sins, that turning around it is supposed to drop and shed all the, uh, uh, the, the imperfections that we have, and it's supposed to be a source of illumination, fountain of, of, of illumination and purification. And therefore, we insist always in teaching about pilgrimage, when you go around the Kaaba, your heart is supposed to circulate before your body. And you're supposed to be connected in that circles around the, this divine house because the whole universe is circling anyway. Everything is in going in sort of semi-circular motion. And that's just a sign that we are a creation and we all, all everything that's going in circles eventually is imbibing from the might of the Almighty. An integral part of worship when visiting the Holy Kaaba in Mecca is to perform the tawaf or circumambulation. This is done seven times before performing any other prayer or ritual. However, there is a deep mystical dimension and reason for performing this act counterclockwise. When we look at the, the concept of circumambulation of the Holy Kaaba or tawaf as it is known, we will note that it, it is conducted counterclockwise as opposed to being clockwise. But counterclockwise and clockwise are purely relative in the sense that uh, looking at it from a different perspective, if one observes Earth from the North Pole, you will see that the Earth is rotating on its axis counterclockwise. This, the Moon is rotating around, uh, around the Sun counterclockwise and the planets are rotating around the Sun as well counterclockwise. But if you look at it from the South, these are all purely relative. Similarly, the electrons in, in the atom are also moving in what they know as a counterclockwise position but all of these are relative the point being that the motion of all the celestial bodies and all the planets and all of those things which are to be found within us as well our atoms the cytoplasm in our nucleus and so on they all are engaged in a motion which is a secular motion so muslims engage in the tawaf or the circumambulation of the holy kaaba primarily in imitation of the angels who circumambulate the throne of almighty allah in the very similar manner and the angels in the Baytul Ma'amur the frequented house do the same but we see a similar pattern because what is is above is below as well and we follow the same pattern in in nature and in the universe with the clockwise or the counterclockwise motion the circular motion and this indicates to us there that we be, we are in harmony with the universe we in harmony with planet earth and we are in harmony with the with the workings of the universe as almighty allah has created it Maybe there's a spiritual balancing going on in the world somehow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that everything spans its orbit. وَكُلُّمْ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ Everything spans an orbit and that orbit is not, is ordained, instructed to do so. It's, it's meticulously found. So we're spanning an orbit and I'm sure that's one orbit out of many. Hey Allah. 